Okay, here we go. It's video time. There's a discussion taking place online. Probably elsewhere. I don't know. I've only seen it online. And I've seen it going on for a long time. And it concerns sound healing. And when it comes to sound healing, which is better? Analog instruments or digital instruments or analog sounds or digital sounds? Doing it the old way or doing it the new way? First, let's talk about analog music or uh, uh, analog instruments, traditional instruments, acoustic instruments, etc. You know what I mean, I hope. There's definitely a certain magic to an acoustic instrument that is not plugged in in any way. The sound isn't coming through a speaker. It is just the instrument and the sound is coming from the instrument. Very natural, very beautiful, and of course, authentic, traditional, all those things are in place. And several musicians playing together on acoustic instruments, just totally clean. I mean, there is a certain magic to that that can't be replicated in any other way. But it doesn't necessarily have so much to do with the instruments, although they play an important part. It has to do with the chemistry between the musicians and, and, and the room that you're in and, and so many other things. But there's no question that there's a, a magic and a beauty to this. And, and personally, I... I love it. Just listening or joining in playing myself, it's amazing. But once again, for sound healing, is it better? We have to understand that the feelings that people get from these instruments doesn't only have to do with the sound. In fact, it may have very little to do with the sound. It also has to do with the look of the instrument. An acoustic traditional instrument looks more magical than a modern synthesizer, for example. For most people, for everybody, it may not be like this, but for most people, I get it. It looks more, especially in the sound healing context, it looks more real, so to speak. It's easier to, to get that sense of magic when it's an instrument made of wood or, or clay, or uh, it's a drum with the actual skin on it instead of synthetic. But once again, I have to ask, is it better? It depends, of course, what you mean by better. Uh, musicians discuss sound a lot too, you know, irrespective of, of the whole uh, sound healing angle. And uh, a lot of people, most people probably, think uh, old analog recordings to tape sound much better than modern uh, digital recordings. And I agree. If you have a really good recording on tape and you play it on vinyl and you have really good speakers, it, it sounds amazing. Nothing can beat it. It's, it has a certain warmth to it that, that digital sound doesn't have. And another thing with analog sound is that there's actually something physical there. You have the physical tape and you have actual music uh, committed to the tape. So there's something there. With digital music, it's just code. It's just ones and zeros interpreted as music. So there's definitely a certain... A certain magic aspect there and it does sound if it doesn't sound better it it definitely sounds good but it's like apples and oranges really there are two different things and, and I, I personally I love digital sound as well I love old recordings for the the analog of course but also for the sort of uh, the imperfections of it before uh, 30 40 50 60 years ago People didn't have the, the equipment that we have now. I mean, when, when the Beatles recorded, they probably had... I, I probably have better equipment here now than the Beatles have had when they recorded their albums in the 60s. And again, of course, how do we define better? But, you know, you get my drift. But I also love modern recordings. It's so clean, so perfect, so crisp. You can hear absolutely everything. I mean, we have really, really perfected the art of recording and mixing sound and music. The modern recordings today are just so pristine. And uh, I love both and I can't decide which I like better. And I, I don't want to decide. I like, uh, I mean, I listen to both. What's the problem? Anyway, for the reasons I have mentioned here already, a lot of people have decided that analog or the traditional way, the old way versus the new way, is better when it comes to sound healing. But I don't think so. There is a difference in sound and quality of sound as you play it. Whether it's vinyl, CD, MP3, somebody playing live, there will always be differences. And we don't necessarily have to say differences in quality because 
again how do you how do you really d decide that i mean all scratchy recordings from the 30s and 40s i love it i think it's amazing quality but in, in terms of recording technique and equipment and, uh, and and so on it's considered low quality so just so you know what i'm talking about there is a difference in quality uh, uh, depending on the source from which the music is coming or the sound is coming but once the sound is out in the air and it hits your ear there is no difference you have the source of the sound here and here there are a bunch of different uh, uh, factors playing a role there is a difference in quality but the music comes from the source out into the air and here is just sound regardless of what the source is here is just sound and all sound is is equal and it hits your ear still the same thing it's just sound the way the sound hits your ear is the same thing no matter what source the sound is coming from or I don't think so at least I, I obviously don't have the means to experiment with this and, and I don't even know what what I would need to do that maybe someday who knows but from my understanding of sound there is no difference there is no difference once the sound is out in the space there is no difference sound is just sound so let's talk about the wonders of electronic instruments and, and, and digital instruments and, and computers as tools for making music I'm a big fan of course if you are familiar with my music you probably already knew this you should have heard it but still I'm going to tell you a little bit about it first of all if you use specific tunings and stuff like I do it is very, very simple to do with a computer or, or, or with a, a, a digital instrument. I mean, just a few clicks of a button and you can tune it either way you want. Total, total freedom. Uh, you have this with many uh, acoustic or analog instruments uh, as well, of course, but there's limited possibilities and sometimes there's a whole lot of work. You have to spend a lot of time tuning it. And there are so many things to say, but the, the, the main thing is that there is virtually no limit to the sounds you can make. You can do anything with a sound. You can create any type of sound and you can put the sound into any kind of space. And there is really, uh, it's, it's unlimited. You can bend sounds, you can stretch sounds, you can, you can curl the sound up and throw it against the wall. Uh, all these things that I, that I uh, enjoy myself doing. You can layer hundreds of sounds very, very easily. That is one uh, trick, one secret to sound healing. Just layers and layers and layers and layers of sound that becomes one sound. So really what, what it means is just endless opportunity for the creator. And it gives us the opportunity to create new sounds. And the traditional sounds are great. They're tried and tested and, and they are fail-proof almost. And that is great. But how about creating new sounds how about how about creating something that you could have never imagined it is a saying in yoga that anything you can imagine is not worth pursuing because it already exists in your limited awareness what you should strive for is something that you could never have imagined that is truly growth i know that no matter what i say here the the discussion will just go on and on and uh, who knows who's right probably nobody's right probably everybody's right i don't know but i will continue to use electronic instruments because i believe that they are truly the most amazing gift to both uh, practitioners of sound healing and and people who benefit from sound healing so don't knock it until you've tried it all right i think that's enough for this video as always, thank you so, so much for watching. If you appreciate the work I do on this channel, there are many ways in which you can help me out. You can stream my music. I'm on pretty much every, every streaming platform out there, Spotify, etc. You can download in iTunes, in Bandcamp, Amazon Music. You can uh, go get any of my books, 432 Hertz, The Magic and Mystery of Sa Sound and Music, or uh, uh, The Secrets of Sound Healing. Both are available on Amazon, both as paperback and Kindle. I'm on Instagram. I'm on uh, Facebook. Uh, I'm everywhere. Check out. I will link my website in the description. And from there you will find pretty much everything. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back soon with another video.